that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing today? Yeah, I'm at it again. <laughs> Hey, we got our first snowfall last night. Yay! Got a couple inches. Actually turned out pretty nice. Sorry about the wind here, but I'm sorry. Is that not worth it? Just look at that. Woo! She's a beauty today. Anyway, I got a couple things I want to talk about. Ah, okay. I, hmm. First and foremost, what the hell is this commission about? Okay, listen. Oh, God, the wind. Holy mac. Okay, this commission is here. Regardless of what Trudeau asks them to do, that's, ev that's irrelevant, okay? But this commission has one purpose, and one purpose only, okay? And that purpose is to discover if the government was legitimate in enforcing the Emergencies Act in Canada against the trucker convoy. That's the only purpose of this commission. I don't care what Trudeau asked them to do. That's the only purpose of this commission. Now, wow, just look at those waves. Whew. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. So, I'm trying to understand why they're running around pointing fingers. Well, you didn't do your job. You didn't do your job. No, I did mine. Oh yeah, I tried to do everything I could. Shut up. <laughs> Why did you invoke the Emergencies Act? This is what the, this is the only question. This is stupid. All right, so get back on track, people. Like, good God, this is so stupid. I think the reason they're doing this is because they realize there was no justification for it. And now they're trying to save their arses. <laughs> All right, number two. Brian Lilly, I love you guy, but I'm sorry I gotta dispute you, okay? Um, you say that the trucker should never have been allowed into Ottawa. I kinda understand why you're saying that, but I will say this much, okay? Think long and hard. When all those truckers drove from all across the country and they drove to Ottawa, if Ottawa had refused to allow those trucks into Ottawa, where do you think they would have went? Do you think they would have turned around and went home? No. You would have antagonized them even more. And we probably would have ended up blocking the highway. I don't know. I'm making speculation here. It's pure speculation. But let's be real here. The resolve was amazing. People stood behind what they were coming there for. They knew why they were coming. They knew what they were gonna do. And that's why the truckers ended up on Wellington and throughout the downtown core of Ottawa. So all this talk about, well, you shouldn't allow the trucks in. Think long and hard what that would have meant for the city of Ottawa had you stopped us from coming in. Because all that would have done is antagonize and then things would have got even worse. Okay, so let's move on from that. Brian Lilly, really evaluate what you're talking about here, okay? Now, there's something more important. I was watching Clyde do something. And this one, this one really pisses me off. You see, we charged a lady who inspired a nation to stand up for freedom. We charged her with inciting mischief for saying, hold the line. Hold the line. The line may have changed, but I'm still holding it, girl. I'm with you, girl. But we charged her with inciting mischief, okay? So my question, my question today, this is the RCMP because this directly affects me. This was a 
incitement to actual physical harm and violence to my person as a protester, as a freedom protester. This is an incitement to violence. When Matthew Good said we should take all the freedom protesters and ship them to Congo to be shot by 14 year olds. RCMP, where are the charges? That is a lot more aggressive. That is a lot more incitement. And he did this to a live, large crowd who cheered him for these statements. Where are the charges? You want to charge a lady for inciting mischief, for saying, hold the line peacefully, guys, but you will not charge Matthew Good for inciting actual physical violence against my person, my person. I'm sorry, your hypocr hypocrisy is stupid. You know why you're not charging him? Because he's famous and I'm a nobody. So I'm irrelevant to you. Your job is to stand up and protect me. Remember your oath. Welcome to the fringe. Welcome to the fringe.